brother. Have a seat, Spirit ladies. Up. Have a seat, ladies. All right, coming to the stage, let's welcome the one and only Miss Bag of Chips. Oh. Ah. Hello, Chicago. Chicago Roscoe's much better. Keep that energy going, not just for Jan Jan Jan. Give it up for Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Yes! <laughs> and please keep the energy going for the original alien superstar, Juno Birch! Yes! Yes! Work! Yes, it is bright in here. She brought her shades. We got you, Diva. <laughs> Let's help it. her up. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Roscoe's Tavern. We're going to go ahead and uh, get things started. But before we do, uh, today, unfortunately, we do not have servers. So if you do want to order some food or you do want to order cocktails, unfortunately, you're going to have to go to the bar. That way. Um, and they'll go ahead and get you together um, at the bar. Uh, our apologies. And then, of course... Um, if you have not pushed that subscribe button, YouTube, hi YouTube. Hey y'all. Hey. Go ahead and push subscribe um, so you can go ahead and comment and watch us every single week. Um, ladies, how are you doing? Good, it's great to be in Chicago. They got me absolutely shit-faced last night. So uh, yeah, I need Air of the Dog to get me um, pissed again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling good. It's my first time in Chicago. Oh my God, yes. Yes. Y'all have treated me so well for the two hours I've been here. <laughs> it's been amazing. And I am back. Hello. How are you doing? Yes. Do you know? Yes, I have arrived to bestow my gorgeous stunningness on you all. Thank How are you feeling? <laughs> so good. Last yes, that is happening. Do you know, last time you were here was uh, 2019, you said earlier, correct? Yes. yes, yes 2019, yes. my first 2019. time in Chicago. Okay, yes. what was the occasion then? It was drag matinee. Oh, work. Yes. Okay. And I did a little tour of Chicago. We went for brunch. We went to Queen as well. Nice. That was gorgeous. So if you didn't catch it, you can catch some performances from Juno, Marsha, as well as Bag of Chips, starting at 10.30 tonight too, Diva. So stick around for that. <laughs> Yes, cannot wait. Are you guys excited? Yes? Yes. Yay! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have we been keeping up with the episodes, watching every week? I have. I haven't seen uh, a single one. <laughs> I've seen some. I've seen, oh, I haven't seen any, sorry. <laughs> but I know the gorgeous um, Sasha Colby's on it, so... <laughs> Is Sasha Colby on it? Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> Well, she, she, she went home week one. Oh, she so is. sad. Really? Oh, no, no, I feel, no I, I've said, uh, I do it all on um, the Instagram. Where I see what they wear and everything, and I just like it. You get the recaps through that. Sure. It's time. Yeah, the, the recap is better for you, right? Not, not the entire episode. <laughs> I'm old. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I mean, the episodes have basically just been recaps this well, season. It, it has been a really? recap. But today we go back to 90 yes. minute episodes. Yes. yes. Finally. Yes. Super excited, which you guys absolutely deserve. I'm hoping that later on something will come out like buy the extended version of yeah. season 15, and then you can not buy. Yeah, I know how they're gonna do it. it. It'll be buy. Oh, uh, it'll, it'll be, be buy, buy bitch. <laughs> okay, buy. it's on Ain't a whole free. subscription. Ain't nothing free. The only thing is that if they do that, will it be? part of the storyline. Do you get what I'm saying? Will it all be tied because together? Everything, yeah. How do they still tie it together? You know what I mean? Because it's like, it had to go shorter. What if? Yeah, that, they'll release the juicier parts of like the drama they featured yeah. this season. That's what they would do, I think. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> uh, is, is that good, Baga? <laughs> Orgasmic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All, All right, right, we're going to go ahead and get Here this shit thing started. Oh. Make some noise, Roscoe! Well, girl. all right. Now we're back. We have, like, a lot to cover. Yeah, yeah, we have so... That, yeah, 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 that was a yeah, lot, right? That was a lot. We, we it's have good. A lot to cover. Okay, okay. Let's cover first things first. Marsha, uh, things just went down. Y'all walk right back into the workroom. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the energy like? Was the fight uh, pretty accurate? Like, tell us about it. Uh, Lucy and Lex? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, yeah, that was it. I mean, <laughs> that's the thing with Lucy is that, like, she's she's never, like, too serious about anything. Like, even the whole, like, last week's challenge, we all thought Lucy was going to win. So, like, 
she wasn't like being crazy by being like, oh, I thought I was gonna win. Um, it's just unfortunate that it happens so many weeks in a row. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, Malaysia said the same thing, that they yeah. all thought that as well. Yeah, so. Lucy performed very, very well in, like, every single challenge. Like, she, most, like, she was, like, justified in thinking that she was doing well, because she was. Um, I love Lucy. Lucy's the best. Um, but, yeah, her, her and Lux, that was just, Lux was in the wig. Well, should she you have know. had the baby belly? I said that, that was the first thing I said last week, was I wanted the baby belly with that. Sure. That was the iconic moment. I think there could have been a little bit more of a bump, of course. Or maybe at least, like, on the runway, just, like, push your stomach out, like, a little yeah. bit if you can, you know? Nor corset. it. Push yeah. the organs down a little, you know? I wouldn't fucking need a bump, but just do that. I've got, I've got one myself. <laughs> I look pregnant half the time. <laughs> and YouTube, I'm sorry, we do not have subtitles for whatever bag of chips is saying. Tonight. Bitch, I, <laughs> I did not. I wasn't looking at her, so I was, I was looking right here. I was like, what the fuck did she just say? In the words of Ben Della Creme, we originated the language now. <laughs> oh, yay! Yes, ma'am. Work. Oh my god, everything. I can't help it. I, I do need some time, probably. Well, speaking yeah, of subtitles. No one, no one knew what you just said just then. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of subtitles and not understanding someone's accent, Marsha Marsha, last week, the challenge. Your face, the entire time. Okay. Were you really having that much of a struggle understanding what uh, Charo was saying? Here's the thing. Charo is the kind of person that jumps from point A to point like G and she just keeps going. So I was trying to like follow her story and like jump in at a point where I could ask another question. Um, there were there times that I was like processing, of course, but I think it's a little unfair that my entire segment was Anitra saying, Marsha's having trouble understanding and me going like this. <laughs> Like, that was, like, all they showed. And everyone was like, why wasn't Marsha in the bottom? I was like, well, I mean, based on that, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I had a really wonderful conversation with Charo. And all of you would have been lucky to hear it. <laughs> Tell it, bitch. <laughs> um, did y'all get to see Love, Connie, or the other special guest? I can't think of off the top of my head. Uh, Frankie. Thank um, you. Yeah, yeah. No, we were pretty secluded to our one person. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about this mini challenge, this voguing challenge. Uh -huh. I think it's safe, to say, it. it's safe to say that we waited long enough to do it because some of the girls in the beginning, that would have been a little more of an issue for uh, <laughs> Queen Asha to read the girls. Um, how was that for you up there voguing, girl? Because you really served the kids. I wouldn't say that, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you did a triple pirouette and landed in a dip. It was a ballet vogue. Sure, yes, it? yes. I, 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 cl I claim no history in voguing. I was like, I'm not going to try and do it really well because I don't want to disrespect anybody, um, but I don't want to like make it a joke. So I tried to do a little mix of some you know, uh, ballroom moves that I know that I could execute and... A coffee grinder, because why not? I, no, it came from a place of love and appreciation. Sure. It was sick. No, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I tried my darndest. And since, we're, since we are speaking about it, there is a little bit of a controversy going on right now with the fact that RuPaul's Drag Race did this. Um, did you guys find it culturally appropriate to watch um, the ball? right now and you guys be a part of it um, and did you think there was any disrespect if so it, oh we're back but we're going to touch base on this because everyone is talking right. about this yeah, we'll online, so yeah. we'll, we'll come back to this okay so we got some comedy duos um, for this challenge um, mm. I personally think I was telling Batty I think Lux and Lucy are going to do well because they're kind of in the same mind frame they're like no I'm second no you're second so I don't see that going bad I see them like vibing really well with each other honestly was Thoughts? That, was that what it was going on in the workroom? Were they vibing off each other? Was it going really well? Oh yeah, they were. They were cutting up as soon as they sat down together. Um, and yeah, and Anitra was really like, actually like out of it. But <laughs> the medic came in and they were. I she described her symptoms to me and I was like, oh, you have a migraine. Like I get migraines sometimes. This is like literally exactly what it is. And the medic was like, mm, we don't know. We should probably take you to the hospital. <laughs> they were like. They were like, they were giving her these like crazy diagnoses. And I was like, it's literally a headache. It's a migraine. Stop. <laughs> they were like, we might have to amputate. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, they didn't actually say that. But no, yeah. But like, the 
<laughs> the medic was like taking it very seriously. I was like, it sounds like a migraine. I think she'll be okay. But yeah, we all felt really bad because she was really like out of it. So you did say that this is what uh, the challenge that you were most scared of, right? Now, you, I, I think you're naturally funny. Like I see you on there, your confessionals are hilarious. You have really good like one-liners. I think you're hilarious. So what is it that kind of scared you from this uh, challenge? Well, in my like career, I've done all like the other stuff. Like I sew all the time, I sing and dance and act and write and choreograph all that stuff. Um, but stand-up comedy is like a very specific thing and it's not really something that I've ever done before. And you always hear about um, comedians talking about how like, oh yeah, I flopped like a hundred times before I got my like tight 10 good. <laughs> And I was like, well, we got one, t one time to try it. <laughs> so I was just really, I was just nervous because you don't know how it's going to go. Well, I, think, I think the thing about stand-up comedy is a lot of people get scared of it because they think it's very da dum 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 You know, like what Bianca Del, Del Rio does. She always has a punchline. But so, sometimes when you do stand-up comedy, you can just stand there and look confused or do something funny or be visually funny. Story There's telling. so many ways or, or of, of, of doing stand-up comedy, yeah. In addition to all those things, Selena also took your partner, so ha losing someone when you thought you were going to work with them probably added to their pressure, yeah? Yeah, it's really sweet when they frame a challenge off of comedy pairs and you're alone. Yeah. Like, maybe we could have done this last week yeah. when there was an even number of people. <laughs> so Literally. Smart. This is a lot. <laughs> Baga, now you, on the other hand, you have not been afraid of comedy, right? This is I like, love it. Oh, yeah. Get me on a stage. I can just talk shy all day. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. And I did, all my comedy is just like when I went to the shop and like if I tried in dog shit or if, if, or if a pigeon shat on my head or something. You just, talk, just tell stories. Sometimes I just talk and people just like... Oh, shit. Okay. So Ooh. tell me about your exchange with Michelle. And um, my, yeah, my work session with the two of them was actually really good. I ran through like everything, and that was like the one part that they were like, "Oh, this isn't really working, so let's like rework that one joke." But everything else, they were like, "Oh yeah, it seems like you have like a really solid set. Cool. Yes. Woo!" So did you walk? Did you walk out of there feeling confident? Yeah, absolutely. I was just nervous about then like the execution of having to like remember all of the things that I wrote because like I, like people were saying like oh like uh, we have a partner so we can like bounce off of one another if like things get weird or bad and so I was just like okay I just have to remember everything that I'm supposed to say and then just say it and yeah I was a little nervous about that <laughs> <laughs> A uh, bag of Juno. Do y'all feel like first oh, is a good spot to go, or where do you feel is a sweet spot when it comes to a, a comedy set where roasting is involved? I feel like sometimes going first can give you the opportunity to set up like a show rules and go through that really funny rules of the show or theater etiquette or something like that. So theme your comedy set around you being the opener. I think I, so. I I don't think I see it as a difficult thing, but. Some people might see it daunting because you can't get the vibes of the room before, you know, during the show. Tea. I'll be taking notes. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you go, if you go this first, this would have been helpful. If you go, if you go first, you get the jokes out, and then somebody could go on after you and say like a joke that's similar, but you can be like, "I got it in first, you bastard!" Ha ha ha! You know, yeah, what it I mean? loses the so <laughs> and they've got the laugh then, and they won't laugh at the second time because they've already heard it. <laughs> Now, Juno, since uh, I, know, I know that you get this question a lot, but I want you to get, you know, I, I, I want you to answer. Let's get it out of the way. Um, uh, you haven't been on RuPaul's Drag Race, and you've been vocal about not being on the show. I was on season one. No. <laughs> I was. I've just changed my aesthetic. No, I haven't, you know. But I, I, I would go on it. I'd love to go on it. I'd love to go on and do, like, um like stand-up comedy or the acting challenges or Snatch Game. I'd love to do Snatch Game. But the thing is, I, I probably wouldn't pass the psych test, to be honest with you. <laughs> they'd be like, they, 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 they'd like ask me one question, and they'd be like, nope. Y'all be surprised. That's what does take a lot of like your favorite local drag entertainers out, that psych test. It's, it's wild. 
They asked some pretty serious Yeah, stuff. I've heard some terrible stories from girls that have auditioned season after season, and they're like, we get to the psych test, and that's it. Done you know, done. I feel like it's a patience test, because they give you a test that has a thousand questions. Well, there's the answer right there. Oh, no. Oh, nar. Nar. Oh, nar. Oh, nar. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, before we get into that, um, we had Mistress was just talking about uh, her relationship with her mother. Unfortunately, it's non-existent. And I want to talk about that with you, uh, with you ladies. How's your relationship? We'll start with you, Marsha. Marsha, how's your relationship with your parents? And how did they take when you decided to kind of come out again as doing drag? Sure. Uh, my parents uh, are all, I've been endlessly supportive of me. Um, their attitude for like my whole life was like, do whatever makes you happy, but like be the best at it. So as long as I'm like successful and happy doing what I'm doing, like they're always gonna like you know be supportive of me, which is really wonderful. That. That's beautiful. And yeah. is your, I heard your mother's here in the house tonight. Do you have family in the house tonight? Um, no, my boyfriend is oh. here with his mom. Oh well, hello. Uh, There's still family. Woo! Oh yes. What's yes. your Marsha, what's your mom's name? Let's send her a little shout out. Your your family. Hi Susan. How are you? <laughs> Susan, hi. Hi Susan. Susan! <laughs> Gino, how about you? Um so I well I'm transgender so for me I before I started doing drag, I was I transitioned at the age of 13. And my parents always thought I was going to come out as gay, so they were always prepared for that. But when I turned around and said, I'm a girl inside, they were kind of like, okay. Because they kind of, I was such a feminine child. Um, but doing drag, my dad was a bit confused because he was like, wait, so you want to be a woman, but now you're being a man. Because his perception was that men do drag. So it took him a while to, to kind of get that. But it, regardless of whether he, got, whether he got it or not, he's always been supportive of everything. I'm a mum. Yeah. If I were your parents, I'd be like, why the fuck she blew? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, we love what you're doing, but we don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. How about you, man? Oh, me and my mum, we're like best mates, but on, on the show, I was like a little cow to my mum on, on my season. But like, when we're, when we're at home, we're like, we're like, fuck off, you know, we're that kind, we're like sisters more than, you know what I mean? We like, I can treat her like a cab because she's like my mum, but if anybody else did it, I'd knock them out, you know what I mean? But like, me and my mum, yeah, I love her to bits, she's a carer, she works really hard, and I love her loads. I love you, mum! Wah, wah, wah! <laughs> And she's always been accepting. Like, I was tap dancing out the womb. You know what I mean? They're like, yo. If I went to my mum and said, I'm gay or something, or a drag queen, she'd be like, I've got eyes. You know what I mean? Fucking hell. I do. <laughs> Marsha, you said something earlier when we were talking about watching uh, the, your, your season right now. And you said, I have not watched it. Like, I have not watched oh, it. Oh, I was Which, kidding. Oh, okay. You oh, had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it. I was going to say... <laughs> <laughs> No, some girls don't. They really don't like to watch themselves. So oh. I, I wasn't sure if you were like, no, if you, no, was, yeah, so you, you have invested, you have watched, yes? I watched every single episode, yes. And based on, how do you feel about so far this season, the way it's been portrayed? I know you've got flack and they've given you shit for you know, your makeup and sure. et cetera, et cetera. How do you feel about that? It's fine. Um, I come, as we all are aware, from a theater background. And part of being in theater is you're getting critiqued like constantly. Like after every single performance, you get notes on how to be better, on how to improve. So, and I, at this point in my life, I had been doing drag like in person in New York City for like less than a year. So I was like, I had no like disillusions that I like knew everything and that I was perfect exactly the way that I was. So I was like, great. I mean, like if you go on America's Next Top Model and Tyra Banks says to shave your head, you shave your head. You know what I mean? So I was like, great, we'll just do more and we'll do it until they tell me it's fine. <laughs> but it, yeah, it definitely helped me in the long run. Yeah. My God, because I, I got home and I was like, what does my face look like? What should I do? And, and I've tried new things and learned new things. And everybody in the cast was so unbelievably helpful too. I got tips from like every single person uh, multiple times a day. And like Lux sat with me every single day and was the one like holding my hand through all of it when I was like having breakdowns. Like I'm on television and I think my face looks awful. Um, but yeah, everyone was so helpful. Well, you look absolutely beautiful. Make some noise, Marsha. Yes. That's growth, baby. 
So you said you've learned a couple things watching oh, yeah. back. That kind of, yeah. what would, we're, oh, back. We're, we're back. We'll come back to that. <laughs> we're back. We're back. All right. Yeah. Well. I didn't do too bad for being all by myself, no, did I? Absolutely I did not. Yes. No, you carried. You yeah. did very well. You, sure. Yeah, you were great for opening. Absolutely. Thank you. Great for opening, yes. <laughs> do you feel... Okay, no. Watching this back now, do you feel uh-huh. that that was the place that like you would have you did the best at? Or do you feel like you would have been la- wanted to go after Mistress and then like... Oh, no. I think being first was... I Also, because I was by myself, I thought it would have been weird if I was like in the middle. I feel like since I was alone, I should have like introduced everything. Um, and I remember it a little bit differently than that uh, in terms of audience response, but I was stressed. Who knows? Who can say what was real? Yeah, well, what so happened? So how accurate is it what we just saw? Was there more to it that we that obviously um, didn't oh, get Oh, yeah. There? Mine was longer than that. Uh, mine was three minutes and all of the pairings had five minutes um and yeah like like the also i have to say the ursula the sea witch joke i wrote the night before not seeing what she was wearing and she, she i saw her and went oh my god <laughs> literally perfect she was in like she's like in like blues and greens and purples and i was like wow i i'm a psychic um uh yeah so there were there was more in mine that had some laughs and i you know whatever but um and, uh, you, that's all you need to know. Uh, they didn't put the funny shit in, basically. <laughs> well, well, that's that. Uh, I would say, I would say, if they had to chop it down, that was a, a decent representation. Okay. It it leaned a little one way, but it, it wasn't too off. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought, I mean, they're playing uh, uh, Selena and Mistress to be less funny than I thought they were. I thought they were really great. Um, and I think, you know, Anitra and Sasha were at the disadvantage because Anitra had her whole head thing. Um, but yeah, theirs was a little slow at times. Um, but overall, like, Sasha, like, really, she, like, she, I think she just grabbed the suitcases and said, we're going, girl, come on, hop on. Um, but yeah, every, that, was, that, was, that was a pretty good representation, I would say, yeah. Baga Juno, who were some standouts for y'all in this? And I, I thought they were all really good. Like, normally you get a really shit one, you know what I mean? Normally you're like, oh my God, that's really bad, you know what I mean? But, like, I, I thought they were all really good. My favourite comedy performance ever on Drag Race, uh, um, Drag Race is uh, Jasmine Masters when she's like, wash your ass and walk off, I love it. <laughs> wash your ass, wash your ass, all your breath stinks of ass. I was like, dying. Like, ah! <laughs> I felt like I felt like it was. We were all laughing at a lot of it, but like when I was looking at the telly, I was laughing more at people's reactions because they were like this. And I Lucy. swear to God, Lucy Ledoux, because I just twitched at one point. Like <laughs> <laughs> they have really shaded Lucy this season I love with it. this edit. They sure have. They really have. Poor girl. <laughs> poor, poor girl. Poor girl. Poor girl. <laughs> you don't think so? No, no. I, oh, it's I, true. Well, yeah, one hundred percent. Everything we're seeing is true. No, no, no. We're not, not delusional. Seeing. No, she, she is. She, that's, like she, what she tweeted this the other day that like she, she was like, I laughed with these girls every single day, which is very true. Um, like we all love Lucy very much. Um, I, 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 I'm a Lucy Laduca stan until the day that I die. She's wonderful. Thank you. Again, I just need to make that clear. Lucy is so great. This is making you look nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to no. slice and dice you up. No, no. It's because no one's applauding we, when you're saying it. <laughs> well, if you, knew, if, you knew her, if you knew her in person, she's yeah. lovely. No, no Sorry. See, she's great. She is great. We've had her here. We enjoyed her when she was here. She really is great. It's just she really gave him some ammo to really get she her. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's talk about standouts on the runway. Who the did runway. you guys really, really like on the runway? They're, oh, they're all gorgeous, but when I saw Sasha Colby in that denim, I was like, oh my. But she could wear a carrier bag and she'd look gorgeous, you know what I mean? But I, I was just like, wow! You know what I mean? That's some um, MTV red carpet shit. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I love the dramatic runways, the ones that tell a story. So I was loving yours with all the mascara everywhere. And um, Mistress Isabel Brooks with all the burnt bits. Oh, yes, that's my cat. I love that. Speaking of stories, was Selena's a little lost on anyone? Did she tell the story or convey it correctly on the runway? 
Okay, so I was on Twitter today and I saw, or I'm sorry, on Instagram, she posted this was an homage to her mother about coming over from um, Brazil, if I'm correct, or where, wherever she, where she's originally from. Um, but it's an homage to her mother um, of co crossing the border and coming to America for a better life for her family. So. I think I, the look was good. I don't think it sold that on the runway I, for me, though. I mean, I totally get it, but I can tell you right now that these red pants were worn by my... Do you get what I'm saying? I can. There, it doesn't read that way. I can come up with a story, but it doesn't justify right. the look. And I don't think that that came off on the look where I'm like, okay, got it. Now... For example, I'm, I'm from Puerto Rico, so if you have someone in a, a traditional outfit and it's muddy at the bottom and torn to shreds, that's someone that you can see they've gone, right. crossed, or swam, and did something to get to where they needed to get to. You know what I'm saying? But there was no story there. I didn't see it. Did anyone see it? We, we didn't okay. get it without her having to tell us. Yeah, exactly. She had, yeah. It, it would had not she have not happened. explained it, it wouldn't have read like that. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, yeah, it, it didn't. Uh, Marsha, uh, besides yours, who was your favorite? Um, well, Sasha looks incredible, yeah. always. Uh, Sasha Colby is... I have such a crush. Um, um, but I think Mistresses is so fun because yeah. it's it's so, like, goofy for her, I feel yeah. like. Um, and it's, it's a little, like, Princess Peach. So it's what it reminds me of. Um, so I loved it. I love a big, like... She looks like a little, like, pageant girl. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. It was good. Did anyone pick up on... Um, okay, Lux is doing something very smart. And all you have to do is praise RuPaul. And it, and I'm gonna tell you this: when you get, when when I got there at season eight, and they go through your bags and they see everything, baby, I should have said that was RuPaul's, and she wore this, and I wore that. And if you would make your wardrobe all about RuPaul, bitch, you'll be there the entire He's very time. Very smart. So two looks already have been RuPaul's. Did you guys pick yeah. up on that? Yes. Uh, Simone did the same, a similar thing in her yeah. season where she referenced um, just black artists and RuPaul. I think, yes, it's very smart because RuPaul wants to make the reference. She wants to have the photo of her right next to you to see the similarities. Lux knows what she's doing. She's playing very smart in the wrong way. Absolutely. But I will say, she also, she like really loves RuPaul. Like she has looked up to RuPaul like her entire life. This isn't just like... All 21 uh, years of it. <laughs> all 21 years. But yeah, no, this isn't, she's not doing it like to get ahead. She like genuinely loves RuPaul. So I'm, yeah. But it also, you know, it works both ways. <laughs> so who, who are some of your inspirations when it comes to drag? We're talking about Luxit being RuPaul. What about you three? Who do you find inspiration? Well, for me, I love um, Tim Burton. I know that's not, I know he's not a drag queen, but the old Tim Burton things and all of his drawings and everything being like blue skin when you're dead and things like that and like um 1960s space age fashion that i love yes and also lady bunny yes. that's very that i see all higher the hair yeah. you said blue skin are you dead right now no i'm just fucking cold it's yeah. fucking crazy <laughs> it's snowing outside it's snowing <laughs> i thought you were gonna say the Christmas. smurfs or something i love the smurfs avatar the musical <laughs> I just love like great, you know what I mean, just people who inspire. I love I love actresses and actors. So I love like Goldie Horn and um, you know what I mean, Meryl Streep, all the actors, Liza Minnelli, I love the divas, you know what I mean, Tina Turner, all that. But uh, when it comes to comedy, I love like um you know what I mean, like um Joan Rivers and um <laughs> <laughs> Joan Rivers. Perfect. Oh. Right. Marcia, you Soleil. saw the critiques and what they say. Uh -huh, how yeah. how are you feeling? You know, <laughs> I was like, I thought I did, I thought I did a, a safe job comparatively. I think I, I was going for week 11 uh, on my streak. Hello, I am your safe queen of season 15. Nice to meet you. Um, see, I thought I was, I thought, I, you know, I was wearing more makeup than usual. Slay, check. I thought my runway was really fun and conceptual and, you know, Lucy did do it a couple weeks ago, but that's not my fault. Um, <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I thought my, my challenge performance was safe. So I was like, okay, I think I did good. <laughs> low, I thought I was low safe. That's where I was in my brain. And it's true with, yeah, okay, Lucy did, but like some of the girls have said this time and time and again, you brought what you brought. You know what I mean? And don't make it seem like 
you had hours to come up with something else because what time would you have been able to come up with something else? Would you have had that time? It would have uh, been in the time allotted for sleeping. So I don't think so. I believe that it didn't happen because you didn't have the time. Because I believe that any girl that had seen something on the runway before did not, would not go out there confidently being like, Fuck, okay, I'm going to do this. You know what I mean? I know that you were kind of slightly defeated by seeing that and knowing that you had that in your suitcase, but it had to be worn. What were you to do? You know, uh, th- There was nothing to do. Yeah. <laughs> You're locked in a room. Like, you can't just go to the shop. You know what I mean? Like, get, me, get a new dress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Juno's like, I am never doing this. <laughs> No, not for me. No. Oh. I feel like I'd take criticism really badly as well. I feel like I'd be on that runway and if they told me they didn't like my eyebrows or something, they'd be like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> my drag isn't up for your judgment. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I love that you said that because uh, last week I had asked uh, the girls, and I, w- I want to ask you this, uh, Marsha. Uh, was there a time on the runway that you either got a critique or you heard something from anyone um, that you were that you you would like to have some kind of rebuttal or response to, um, for example, you know, the whole makeup thing that got so tired and so late. So, like, wh- what would you say to like Rue or anyone on that judges panel at this point? I mean, on, this was truly the only day that I was a little frustrated okay. because Michelle was like, oh, like there were like lulls. And I was like, I don't remember that, but okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, that whole discussion of like, oh, like Lucy, I want to be like, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? They're like, you should have been like crafting and something else. I'm like, reconceptualize an outfit that I brought from home. I don't know how I would have done that. Um, but I mean, I, it's, it's, the cards fell and there was, it's true. Like Lucy did come down the runway in a very similar outfit and I wish I could have been like, Oh, it's not, it's not my fault, but that's an excuse. And we don't do that at RuPaul's Drag Race. No excuses. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I, most of the time I was pretty open to criticism, even if it was like repetitive. I was like, okay, sure. Then I just haven't gotten to the point that wanted me to get. But in my brain, if they're talking to you, it's because they care and they want to help you out and they want to help you improve. So I was like, sure, great, Uh, keep going. Well, it sounded like the judges gave a lot of praise to Mistress, Lux, and Lucy. Do we think Lucy's finally going to get their win or Lux or Mistress is going to get it? Who's going to win? Oh, yeah, who's going to win? I can't speak on this. So. Oh, you know who wins, don't I, you? I, I, she I may have been on the show. She was, <laughs> Juno, that. she was she there. Is, she's actually she on the show. She was there, Juno. Oh, oh, that was you on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. She applied the critiques. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know who's going to win. Who do you think is going to win? I know I'm coming across as a fangirl, but I, I just think Sasha Colby's absolutely stunningly, beautifully, gorgeously, amazingly, like, you know what I mean? Even I'm getting a bit lesbian, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's because you only know me. <laughs> we're ladies. Okay, first thing is first, give Marsha her flowers, please. Marsha, yes. Listen. Best, best lip sync of the season so far. Oh, the yeah. best lip sync, hands down. Now, I have disagreed on so many occasions when there's been a double save, and you're like, really? This was a double save. Absolutely. Yeah. You, bo- you guys both should have stayed. It was so good. Tell me, I know you felt you put up a fight, right? Yeah. Tell me about I it. Mean, when I mean, when I, when I say when I walk back into the workroom, I was like, I'm not that bummed. Like, I, I actually wasn't. I was, I think the best thing that you can hope for coming on to this show is that you like show your best work and for me to go out of the competition um, giving like an incredible lip sync I was like I can't be upset about this people are gonna like because I mean obviously I didn't watch it while it was happening because I was doing it Um, but you you like can feel it like oh that was based on the also the response like after every lip sync this season RuPaul's been kind of like composed, like, okay, this person is going home. RuPaul was like, had like this like ear to ear smile after we finished. And I was like, I had so much to prove to this woman <laughs> since I walked in the door. And I, I think I just showed her why I was here. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I mean, no, Marsha, you yeah. should not be upset at all. You oh, yeah. were high safe throughout the whole season, girl. Your your talent show was amazing. Your Tim Gunn was amazing. Like you delivered this season, Diva. Thank you so much. And listen, I I, I know you just said that you had so much to prove to her and and what she thought, et cetera, et cetera. But listen, that's just one person. Oh, Can yeah, I, I tell you how many people you have reached? I mean, this is only going to be great for you. This is, this is probably one of the best ways that you can leave this show. Absolutely. My gosh. Also, the fact that I was in a, a pageant girl crying outfit for my elimination. Iconic. Um, the merch is available now, I believe, on mybestjudy.com. Word. Out my heart. It's a beautiful illustration. So, yeah, you can take out your phones right now and go buy it if you want. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so thrilled with how this season went and if I'm ever back for All Stars I will pay lots of people lots and lots of money to make me beautiful runways and then maybe I'll win a challenge Marsha let me ask you this um, uh-huh. watching the runways one thing that I've noticed we've kind of noticed is wearing white on the runway doesn't perceive as well okay. do you agree watching that back and being there wearing white on the runway yeah like the details don't they don't they're not as perceived, like they're, all the stoning, all of the details. Oh, sure. Are you wait? Are you referring to me or to yeah. someone else? Yeah, oh. I'm re- referring to your runways. Oh yeah, I mean, well, let me just say, I made all of my runways pretty much by myself in a couple Work. of weeks, which is, I was working like 15 hour days. So, so some of the concepts are not fully cooked. I do see that, and I do see that they are a little, uh, they're definitely simplified compared to the other queens in the competition. Um, but I, I did what I could with the resources that I had at the time. Um, and ultimately, my, my vision for all of these runways was to like look like a cutesy cartoon character version of the prompt. And I look at like, the, like sometimes people like make those posts where they like put all your runways together, and I'm like, yeah, I look like a cute little cartoon, sure. <laughs> And white on the runway? I don't know. Maybe? We're getting serious. Oh, yeah. (laughs) This story just took another turn. Uh, Yep. Hard right. Hard right. Girl. Okay. All right. So, Marsha, what's the energy like now that you guys are kind of like chill back there and everyone's kind of talking about their feelings? Are you kind of like, I'm going to have to lip sync? Like, what, what, what's the... I'm listening with one ear, and then, like, half of my brain is, like, falling asleep because I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to lip sync. <laughs> but these people are talking about really important things, and I should really listen. <laughs> um, and honestly, it was, it was kind of a nice distraction, honestly, to think of, like, hear about, like, other people's um, stories so I don't have to think about my current one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I, I had just finished crying, so I was like, okay, pick up the bootstraps, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's all I have. <laughs> okay, so, another question. Um, okay. What moments on the season would you look back on and be like, okay, that is probably something that I definitely couldn't do without. Like, I'm really glad this happens. Um, you know, something kind of pivotal or, or changing for you? I mean, Ariana Grande. <laughs> we all know. We all know. That changed my life. I could not believe that happened to me. Um, and honestly, it was just... It was more of like a gradual thing. It wasn't really a one moment. It was like doing well on the talent show. And I was like, wow, out of all the girls here, I had probably had like the least experience. So the fact that I'm pulling ahead in this group of 16 is like... So cool. And then like I did well in Snatch Game and I was like, wait a minute, I think I I think I do belong here. <gasps> I landed in the right place. Um but yeah, it was more gradual. It was kind of the the developing that like self assuredness over the course of the competition. I think that was the most invaluable thing. How self assured or confident would you have been if you would have made it to next week to do the Rusical? Oh my god. I would have won. I would have won. Or oh, nor. Okay, we're good. We're good. Cool. Okay. Bitch, he did not spill one lick of liquor. <laughs> My girl. Amen, bitch. Huh? Give it up for our maxi challenge winner. Here. Yeah. Bitch, our maxi maxi winner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I absolutely would have won the Rusical, no question. Thank you so much. Did it feel slightly shady when you found out that that happened after you left? Um, uh, no. I'm imagining. Rolling, rolling. 
Okay, tech, eh. let's keep later, the later. Video. What's gonna happen? <laughs> I just think it's iconic. Sasha was sitting there and did the runway with no panties. That was everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, work, oh, yeah. bitch. I need to put my underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, that's the Sasha thing to do. It's a very Marcia, Sasha thing so to do. So, what's your relationship with, uh, like, the other with your castmates? I mean, honestly, I, I think with this group specifically, because uh, the longer you're there, like the the closer you get to those people, because you go through so much together. Um, so, like, I mean, I knew Lux before the competition, like, a little bit, but we got much closer throughout filming. Um, I got very close with Lucy. Lucy actually, like, proofread my thing, my set for this challenge. Um, and she gave me, like, little tips and stuff, which is so, so sweet. Um, Mistress and I... <laughs> I love Mistress. <laughs> and I think she loves me in her own special way. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, Sasha Colby also specifically... Um, something that is so incredible about Sasha, she could be like the worst person ever, and she's not. She's like the sweetest person. She always is looking for the best in people. She really, on multiple occasions, like took me under her wing and was like, you can do this or you can do that. Like there's like a whole section that didn't make the edit that I got ready next to her before last week's challenge. And she was like walking me through like the techniques that like makeup artists have taught her over the years and I was just like it's so grateful for her and me and Selena um, we we are I think definitely closer now than we were on the show but um, yeah, I got to work with Selena a lot uh, we, we did that first infomercial together we did the uh, we were in the same scene for Daytona Wind we were in the same girl group like yeah, I mean, I, I, I got close to all of them. Like, there's the, the reason that I'm crying truly is because I was like, oh, like, I just feel like I'm making these incredible friends, and now I have to leave, and I like, don't know when I'm going to see you again. And it's like, this it's the saddest thing. It really, really is. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super close with pretty much everybody because um, all of us are so sweet and so supportive, um, even, regardless if they were there one episode, five episodes. 11 episodes, whatever. Um, everyone is really, really wonderful. <laughs> Marsha, you stated that you would do all star. Oh, we'll get back to that. We're back. <laughs> yes! Make some noise for Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! I want to remind everyone that at 10.30 p.m. We will all be taken to the stage. We'll all be performing here, so stick around uh, till 10.30 p.m. But right now, we are going to do uh, some Q&A. Um, we're going to ask all our guests nice questions from the audience. So I uh, just want to let everyone know that on this side, we're going to do Q&A. But if you want to chit-chat, get cocktails, do all that good stuff, you're more than welcome to head over to the front of the bar. And please um, do. But on this side, we're going to listen. And quick, quick, quick announcement. Next week, our guests are Sasha Colby and Lux, Lux Noir, Noir London. London. Work. The double elimination. Tickets no are sold coming. out, but standing room is available. So we'll see y'all next week as well, baby. Yeah, so please get your questions ready uh, for Q&A. Before we do the Q&A, uh, we're going to send some shout outs. Uh, one second, baby, one second, because I'm talking, so that means you don't. <laughs> so, uh, right now, real quick, we're going to do some shout-outs to all those that log on to YouTube and leave us comments and love and all that good stuff. So, we're going to start off with a shout-out, and happy birthday to Brennan today. Brennan, where's Brennan? I think Brennan is here. Hello! There's Brennan. Uh, yes. 21st birthday, her 21st birthday made some noise for Brennan. You want to keep that going? Yeah. A shout out to Billy, Cyan, and Cheryl the Cat in the UK. Sup, babes? Shout out to Albert Castradox in LA. Want to shout out, shout out to Danny in Miami. Hello to Sondos in Kuwait. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching us, Chelsea in St. Louis. And another Danny. This one's in the Netherlands. Hey, what's up, Danny? Okay. That next one, you do that. Go ahead, Diva. Oh, hey, Rita in Belgium. Oh, I was over there. Okay, yeah, you don't know where you're shout at. Shout out to Damien for the love. Thank you. We're sending a shout out to Zaire in Belize. Hello to Toma in Bucharest. 
Romania. Romania. <laughs> wow. Thank you Thanks so for much for watching. Keep the comments going. We love when you leave comments. Um, we'll continue to give you shout outs. Thank you so much for watching. At this point, we're going to go ahead and do Q&A. Do we have any Q uh, questions in the audience? Yes, yes, yes. No, maybe so. All right, I'm going to start um, this while you yeah. jump out. And I'm going to jump out with you as well. Um, Marsha, you, I was asking a question. So um, you said that you would do All-Stars if they called you back. Um, but I want to know, what is the next step for you? Like, what is your next process after processing this? Like, what is something that Marsha wants to do? Oh, my gosh. I want to do everything. Um, I definitely want to work in TV film. I think that's, I mean, this experience um, really enlightened that for me. I, like, love it. It's so fun. Um, so that for sure. There might be some music coming out shortly. Who can say? I don't know. And I, I'm really looking forward to stepping up my fashion game. Because I am so tall. I could be a supermodel if I really tried. You are. When she walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, you're so much taller in person than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be tall fish. A, I want to do it all. I want to do it do all. It. Nisha, go ahead, Diva. Yes, so we're going to start right over here. You want to stand up really quick? No, you have to stand. You got to come to me, baby. I can't. There we go. Come over here. What's your name? Where are you from? Nick from Chicago down the street. Um, I have a question for Miss Juno Birch. Um, Hello, as, my love. Hi. As a lover of The Sims growing up, um, yeah. I would love to know if The Sims, the creator of them, have ever reached out to you for anything? Um, No. Well, no, there was one time where it was their birthday. It was a celebration of Philly. What was it like? 20 years, 15 years or something like that. And I did like a birthday video in The Sims 3. But you know what they need to do? They need a Sims 4 Juno Birch stuff pack. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, would buy it. I would buy it. I yes. love The Sims. Ladder removal tools and like um, gorgeous hot dog costumes. Yes. And a joy desperate prison. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have a question right over here. What's your name? My name is Patricia. I'm from Mexico. Hi, Marsha. Um, Hi. So my question is, if you could do any role on Broadway in drag, what would you choose? Oh, my gosh, in drag? Yes. I don't know. I feel like I'm a real Glinda in Wicked. Shocker, shocker. <laughs> Ariana Grande is doing it right now. I would love to hear what everyone else would do. What yeah. would you ladies do? If you had an opportunity to be on Broadway, what role would oh, you yeah. love? Well, when I was younger, I really wanted to be Alphaba in Wicked. But bitch, I can't fucking sing Defying Gravity. But Blue. You would all leave the venue if I'd sung Defying Gravity. But I'd love to play, um, I'd love to play Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror. Oh, wait, no, no. No, no, um, Audrey in the Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, my God. I would you know, Fairy Doctor. Fairy Doctor. That's my Audrey impression. Bagger? I'd be, oh, um, I love the G Gypsy, Mama Gypsy. Oh my God. Y'all be swell, y'all be great. I had a dream. <laughs> I would die. Oh, I could be I your Louise. That. Okay, we have a question right over here. Where are you from? Uh, my name is Kevin from Orlando. And my question is for Marsha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if you already answered this, but do you really think Lux's wig was 40 inches? I don't want to give away too much. We did measure it. And that's all I'm going to say. We save it for the reunion. I'm sure oh, bitch, it'll come up. That was a bob. That was a bob. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have a question right here. Uh, Liam from Chicago. Juno, I was wondering if you could tell us a little about your Vogue interview that you got to do a few years ago. Oh, yes. So they, came, they asked me to do it first. And I said, how much are you paying me? And they said nothing. And I said, well, goodbye then. And then they, they asked me again. And I said, OK, I'll do it. As long as I can do something other than makeup in it. So I, I wanted to go to the grocery store and do some shopping in the grocery store in drag. Which I think is the best part of the video, really. Um, also, they, there was like 50 people in my tiny little flats. And I, I let up and I said, are you going to pay my electricity bill? Because there's lights all around. <laughs> I'm a tight bitch with money, yes I am. Good. But yeah, doing it was really fun video. It was gorgeous, yes. Scared lots of children in public. It was lovely. 
All right, I have one right over here. Hi, my name's Jamie. I'm from Chicago. My question's for Marsha. I just want to know how much Lucy's paying for the positive press. She's paying me absolutely nothing. She's paying me in genuine friendship. Thank you so much. Ooh. All right, we have a question right here. Hi, my name is Michael, and my question is for Marsha. So we know you're like an Ari stan. What's your favorite like Ari like song and like you think you would like slay like a lip sync to? Well, that's the thing. I love her ballads, and I could do a ballad, but I think people would be bored if I did it. You know what I mean? Because people see me and they're like, "Oh, she's gonna throw herself somewhere." Um, I don't know. <laughs> the awe. Um, but my, I think my favorite Ariana Grande song is POV. The crickets. It's, it's so beautiful. All right, right over here. Hi, I'm Wyatt. I'm from here. <laughs> um, this is for the absolutely stunning Juno Bush. Hello, my darling. Hello. Hello. Um, if you were to ever do Snatch Game, who would you play? Well, I'd either do Jennifer Coolidge, obviously. <laughs> oh, I would be the best one ever, right? Yeah. Oh, because all the others are just a shitbox. <laughs> oh. Or I do Pete Burns. You know Pete Burns. You know what Pete? But well, in the in the early two thousands era in Big Brother, I want that coat back within the next two hours. Fuck off, RuPaul. I do it. I pissed off Pete Burns. Yes. Um, I know with um, last season's oh oh God. name yeah. Uh, Hi. Step back there. Hi, I'm Jonathan from Chicago. Um, I know with last season's J Lo, there was some uh, the thousand J Lo's runway. There was some like limitations, and with the Beyonce runway, were there similar limitations? Were you asked to provide several uh, options? Um, no. I mean, it's just it's the same it's the way that they always do it because they put the picture up that has to be on Getty Images. Yeah. So you can only pick from like red carpet and live performances. And yeah. honestly, just just in general, I was like, how can Marsha do Beyonce? It just like I was like, it's not gonna fit no matter what I do. <laughs> and I, I can say confidently uh, that is my least favorite runway of the whole season <laughs> because I did in fact look like a bag of carpets. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look no, at I me. Just, you were there. She was sitting here. Uh, yes. Bag of carpets. That's I, my sister. Bag of <laughs> yes, work. I don't know what that means. No, but yeah, people were like, oh, don't this come is for a, me, Marsha. People were like, this is a Beyonce. And I was like, I know. What, what was, yeah, oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All I took from that is that you do watch the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you do watch. Oh, you well, do that, watch. That, that, that was kindly posted on the Roscoe's yeah. Instagram page. So I did see that, yes. <laughs> you can thank Sean for that. <laughs> All right, we have a question right here. We have a question. Oh, you oh, have one? Yeah. Okay, Can go I do for this it, one? Go for it. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Georgie. I'm from Chicago. And my question's for Juno. Um, Hello. Uh, are we going to be getting any Sims video soon? Oh, I knew you were going to ask that. Yeah. Oh. Well, the thing is, I go through phases. I go through phases of things that I do all the time. And at the moment, I'm on a, I'm on a rampage. And I can't keep still. And I always want to go out the house and perform and go on tour and stuff. So... Sitting down and gaming at the moment is just... I've not got the patience at the moment, but I promise you I will go back to making Sims videos, yes. I will. When EA gives me a little bit of a check. Yes. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, my name's Kylie. I'm from London. I wanted to Hi. ask my fellow Brits, um, what is your favorite part about doing drag in America versus doing it in England? And what you've noticed, like, the big differences between them? The tips. Tips. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like Drag yes. Race UK, we get no money. Yeah. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> the UK is tight as shit with money, honestly. But to be fair, they can't throw pound coins at you, can they? They have to give you a fiver or a tenner, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I, I love coming to America. It's just brilliant, you know what I mean? Everybody smiles in America. In London, everybody's like, oh, you know, uh, and that's them happy. Like, really? In London, they're looking at it like you've just shat yourself, you know what I mean? Like, but you got two heads, but um, yeah, in America they're like, hey ma'am, hey sir, can I? <laughs> Have a good day, ma'am. I love that. I, 
I definitely prefer performing in America to um to uh, the UK. I just I love it so much more in the in America, and I love touring and everything. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a shameless plug now. Are you ready? Yeah. Do it. Spill, yes, Diva. Um, in the summer, I'm gonna be doing the Juno show live on tour, yeah. and we're gonna be coming to Chicago as well. Yes, and we're doing like a it's a very theatrical production with dancers and everything. You're gonna watch me dance. Yes, it's gonna be gorgeous. So keep your eyes peeled for the dates, yes. Shameless plugging, yes. All right, we have one right here for you. All right, can't wait for that. But uh, for Marsha, did you feel that jump? Oh, Jason, sorry, I'm here every week. I should know better than that. So, yeah. uh, did you feel Anitra jump over you in that moment? Because we knew you were upside down. Like, no. are you seeing that for the first time now? I had no, I got off, I was eliminated, exited the stage, and one of the PAs was like, oh my God, when she jumped over you? I was like, what are you talking about? I had no idea. I had literally no clue. But then they were like, it was amazing. It was amazing. This listening was so great. And I was like, okay. Cool. I'm so glad. All right. We have a question right here. Hi. My name is Jennifer from the suburbs. Um, this question is for Marsha. Um, knowing that the Rusical is next week, what Rusical would you have like been in like the previous seasons? Or like would you have created your own? Well, I mean, honestly, so next week is, what is it, Drag Loose, I think is what it's called. It's like Wig Loose. Wig Loose. It's, um, it's Footloose Space, which is uh, a musical about kids wanting to dance. So I think I would have done pretty good in that. <laughs> Young people wanting to dance. Wow. Um, but I mean, um, Moulin Rouge last year, that would have been really fun. I, I take my shot for, for Saltine. <laughs> Question right over here for you, ladies. Uh, another one for the London Queens. Hi, my name's John. I'm from Chicago. Sorry. Uh, hey, shout out to your favorite places to see drag in London for folks who have never been. I'm in London. Um, I, I, I love, I'm a pub person. I love proper boozers. You're like a proper British pub, like a pot in a lager, packet of pork scratchings, all that. So, yeah, I, uh, the Admiral Duncan in Soho, um, the two brewers in Clapham, shout out, Clapham Massive. And <laughs> and um, halfway to heaven and heaven, JY Porn Idol. You've done Porn Idol, didn't you? JY Porn Idol. Yeah, Porn Idol's fabulous. I did it last week. Yeah, I, I know. He messaged me saying, Marsha's here to see her. I said, Mate, I'm in bed. Sorry. You <laughs> said, I'll see her next week. It's fine. Um, I, I would say my favorite place is to go out in London, but to be completely honest with you, Bagger, anytime out, I'm out in London, I live in Manchester, but when I go down to London, I always end up getting absolutely fucking shit-faced. Yeah. I was so I can't Aaron. even remember where the places are. <laughs> I met her at a party in London. You know what I mean? We were in our civvies, you know what I mean? Just a bit of blush, you know what I mean? And, I saw, and what, we got absolutely shit-faced. Oh, I mean, yeah. I couldn't walk the day after. I was like a shitting dog. I was like, that, that, that. I was like Ozzy Osbourne. I couldn't move. It's mad. <laughs> we have another question right over here. Um, Your my, fault. my name is Haley. I'm from Wisconsin. Hey, Haley. Um, Vega, we fucking loved your Misery Snatch game. What is your favorite horror movie? Oh, I love the horror movies. And like I said about earlier, um, I love like just great. She's a diva, Kathy Bates. And I, I was literally, the day before I did Misery, Kathy Bates. You're in a hotel room, locked away, and it was on the TV. And I was like, this is a sign, this is a sign. And they're like, can't do it anymore, all that. And yeah, I, and when I called RuPaul, Paul. Hey, Paul. And I, I love you, I'm your number one fan, all that. <laughs> but I love, oh, I love them. Silence of the Lambs, Thriller. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I was going to do the one in the mask and do it. I'll eat you. <laughs> I'll eat your ass with some feather beans and a nasty any. <laughs> But if I did Snatch Game again, well, I'm, I'm ruining it now because I probably won't be on it again, but I'd probably do um, Miss Trunchball or something from Matilda. Ah, oh, that gives, uh, yeah. Talio, slammer in the chokey! <laughs> Don't make it stop. It's so good. Yeah, Keep I going. It. God. I'm it. saying that so no bitch copies and does it before me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have a question right here for you, ladies. Hi, girls. You all look stunning today. Uh, my name is Albert. I'm from Chicago, and my question is for Juno. Um, no. So let's say you're cast on Drag Race UK season 72. What is your 
one and only entrance line. Fucking hell. Well, if it's even season 72, I'll be fucking coming in in a wheelchair. <laughs> We're like, oh! <laughs> I have finally arrived. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, like, I, people always used to ask me this. So, because um, I'm transgender, and about ages, years ago, there, there was no transgender people on, on Drag Race. So my, my opening line was, they finally cast a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> but they wouldn't hear that now. Um, but I think I'd come in with a Jennifer Coolidge quote. I'd probably come in really confused and go, <gasps> oh! I'm sorry I'm late, I fell over the side of an escalator. It's amazing. Yeah. That is crazy! It's the face, you really get it. Someone get her a hot dog, she needs it real bad. Real bad. I have this one right over here. Okay. Hi, I'm Chris. I live in uh, Queens, New York. Marcia, thank you for performing in Queens. <laughs> of course, uh, we love Icon. My question's for you. Which of your competitors from this season who were eliminated before you would you have liked to have keep going in the competition with you? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's so many people. I'm trying to remember them all. Um, I mean, Jax. I love Jax so, so, so much. She is one of, the, one of my best friends in this season, so probably Jax. All right, we have a question right here. Hey, America from Chicago. Um, Marsha, there were like three or four times when you were about to say something and the show came back on. Oh. Do you remember what any of that was? I'm curious. No, my brain is broken. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need a piss. <laughs> 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 I shake. have, oh. <laughs> yeah, we're, we have one right over here. Hi, my name's Kellen. I'm from San Jose, California. My question is for all of the panelists. Um, as you travel, um, what do you find is your favorite like fast food or chain restaurant, and what's your order? Oh, bitch. <laughs> That's good. I love food. I absolutely love food. I, you know what I mean? I pile it away. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. And when I come to America, they don't have it in Britain. Um, it's called Hong um, um, Kong Panda. Panda Express! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Orange chicken! Orange chicken! Oh, 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 oh. Bitch, we're gonna take you to Chinatown and get you some real oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I love a Chinese, mate. Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm I love about to get on my and Uber Eats right now and bring her some <laughs> panda. Okay. Oh, and Taco Bell! Oh, in England, Taco Bell's like, you get like, just like a bit of lettuce. <laughs> Over there, it's like, phew, like ma awesome. oh, you're making me hungry. So. Yeah, every every food in the UK is like fucking doll food, isn't it? Over Tiny. here, it's like mountains of fucking food. I love Olive Garden. <laughs> oh, oh, I could deep throat those breadsticks, bitch. Yes, <laughs> love. Wendy's. Huh? Oh. Marsha, for you, Diva. Um, the thing that I always get. Because um, they're in every single airport. I always go to Jamba Juice. I love a smoothie. I love a, an, an orange dream machine. Okay, Marsha. What Marcia, about junk food? Marsha, let's bullshit, take the bullshit, bitch. Not the ballet Stop dinner. Not the fucking no, bullshit, no, bitch. No, Give me some I, grease, so something fried. It is, it is my biggest nightmare that I will get onto a plane and then have to vomit or something. <laughs> so I, whenever I fly, I only eat things that are like uh, that are not going to upset me no matter what. I get really, really scared. I don't know why. <laughs> uh -huh. Mental illness. I don't uh -huh. know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if I'm buying all that. I don't know. Nation, I, mean, I can give you a fried food thing that I eat on. A, I'll eat pizza anywhere, literally anywhere. Yeah. Um, 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 help me out. What do I get all the time? Pizza. I love Chinese food too. Orange chicken is also my go-to order. Um, but yeah, sorry everyone to disappoint <laughs> you with that answer. <laughs> right. We I have probably, another. We have another question over here for you. Hi, baby. I'm Perspective, oh and I just want to know, Juno, will you beam me up? Will I beam you up? Will you beam me up? Well, tell me, dear, what does that mean? Take me to your planet. Oh, maybe, 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 I don't even know where my planet is. Uh, I haven't thought that much about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> but yes, of course, my darling, yes. And I am taking that wig off you. It's absolutely stunning. Yes. All right, we have another question right here. Hello, Noah from Chicago. This is my beautiful fiance, Jesse. Um, 
Question from Marsha. He is going to New York City for the first time in his life for his bachelor party. What should he do? Okay. That you will approve. <laughs> yeah, you know me. I'm really crazy. Um, I w number one, you got to see a Broadway show. You got to see a Broadway show if you've never seen one, which you haven't because you've never been to New York City. Um, go see Wicked. It's timeless. It's perfect. It's everything. Um, you got to see some drag. Places to go. Uh, pieces bar. Verse. Playhouse, um, industry, Icon Astoria, Flaming Saddle, Flaming Saddle. <laughs> uh, you gotta two, do some drag. Two stupid queens at pieces. Oh my god, two yes. stupid queens at pieces. Kiki, uh, Kiki Ball Change and Castrata. We love those two. New York's stupidest girls. Um, but yeah, just you gotta go into Times Square. Like go to the M&M store. Yeah, right. You gotta do something, right? girl. You gotta do something gross. She just said for she your said, bachelor go, party, go eat M and M's. Go to the M and M <laughs> store, Marsha. Hey, what uh, the fuck? Have you seen that green M and M? She is too sexy for the kids. Right. She's too sexy. <laughs> I mean, have another question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm such a baby. I'm sorry. Hi. My name is Stephanie. I'm also from Chicago. Um, hey, Steph. You are all my heroes, but my question is for Baga. Um, oh my God, I've had a fucking question. I'm going to pass out. Oh! <laughs> I was there having a cup of tea with my tea bags. Well, that's part of it. So, episode one of UK versus the world, you were the first one to break out the kettle and Kiki with all the cup US girls. It, so, do you have any um, new words, new slang that you can teach me here? Oh, you want British lingo? Yes, please. But, <laughs> No, because in America you watch like Down and Abbey and what's it called, Bridgerton and The Crown and you all think all British people talk like, Hello, I can, I'm, one's going for a shit today. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> but we don't, I'm, oh yeah, um, oh, you know what I mean, the dog's bollocks, that means you're the, the, the gonads, gonads means bollocks. Um, <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm going for it. Um, you know, uh, if you need the toilet, I'm going for a Tom T. I'm going for a Brad Pitt. I'm going for a Brad Pitt. Need a shit. Um, I always, if I'm going for a wee, I say I'm going to wet me lettuce. <laughs> going to wet me lettuce. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Boston. We say Boston. That means like um, oh, I'm from a place in the Midlands originally, and Boston means like you know, like the shit. So you look Boston tonight. Gorgeous. <laughs> But, but I'm from England, I can't even speak, you know what I mean? People think I'm from somewhere else, because they're like, that's not English. Because I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We're going to do one last question right over here. And this is to, for everyone. Oh. Hi, girls. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, I know, whatever. <laughs> um, but for all the girls, I have a fuck, Mary kill. Fuck, Mary kill, RuPaul, you're... A drag mother and your last hookup. Bitch. Fuck Mary Kill. I could not fuck my drag mother. <laughs> <laughs> not again. Yeah. Well my drag my drag mum's like sixty five and she's still going, you know what I mean? Probably. Yeah, well, I'm an old bastard myself. I've been doing drag for 20 years, you know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> so my, my drag mom, um, well, I'd probably marry my drug, uh, not, oh shit. <laughs> not drug mom, drag mom. <laughs> my drug mom. No, I don't do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, drag, my drag mom, I would marry because, uh, yeah, she, get, she gets like um, a lot of. Um, Benefits and I can get all the money and stuff and yeah and, and she and yeah she she's I love my drag mom Trindy hello Trindy and um right what's the other one kill and shag yeah, marry so I've ma I've married my okay I'm gonna marry my drag mom then kill what's the other one kill and shag and it's RuPaul um my last talk up. I don't remember when that was. It's been a while. <laughs> I couldn't pull in a brothel. Um, cool. Okay. Um, I couldn't kill RuPaul because I'm, I'm not going to lie. RuPaul, you know what I mean? If it wasn't Ru for RuPaul, I wouldn't have the opportunities I have today. So I've got to... I've got to shag RuPaul! <laughs> Again. Again, yeah. Yeah, um, but I'd have to be the top. 
Um, okay, so my last hookup was my boyfriend of five and a half years. So I'd say I would marry him. Uh, Is that a proposal? <gasps> At Roscoe's? Oh my God. It would go viral. Um, <laughs> not Again. yet, love. Sorry. Um, so uh, yeah, I would probably marry my boyfriend. Um, I don't have a drag mom. <laughs> Ghost, she's dead. And I guess I would, I would make sweet love to RuPaul. <laughs> but, but I'm sure she wouldn't want to look at my face the whole time. So. <laughs> She'd ask for more, more, more. She lash. More, yeah. more, more. Marsha, I need more. We need more <laughs> versatility. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try my best. Um, well, I, I have, I'm, I've been with Phil for eight years now, so my last hookup was many, many years ago, and I don't have a drag mum either, so I'd fuck RuPaul because he's a gorgeous big tall man. <laughs> I'd marry RuPaul because if it wasn't for RuPaul's drag race, I probably wouldn't be doing a lot what I do now. So, um, and also kill RuPaul because I seen her at DragCon once in person, and oh my God, she's... She's intimidating. She's like a photograph. She's fabulous, yes. So there are my answers, everybody. Yes, what's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, did you have a good time tonight? Make some noise. Please make some noise for all of our guests, starting off with Miss Bag of Chips. Keep that going for Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And don't stop. Give it up one more time for Juno Birch. I want to remind everyone that at 10.30 p.m., we will all be taken to the stage. So stick around because this show's not over. We're going to get the party started at 10.30, yes? Yes, So yes. make sure you stick around. And don't forget that next week, there is only standing room available for Sasha Colby. And Lux Noir, London. Yes, yes, yes. So see you next week. I want to say thank you so much to YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Goodbye. My yeah. Thank you. Hit that My name is Nation Lopez. My name is Betty Davis. And I am your bearded bestie, Caramel DeVille. See you next week, YouTube. And Bye. see you at 1030 Roscoe. Bye. Have a good night. Oh. Oh, yeah. I need a cigarette. <laughs> oh, I need a, oh, yeah, I need a cigarette. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh.